This is the third demo in the series of six demos about reclaiming repositories in Oracle VM. In this demo, you create a repository on a block storage device. In this Oracle VM environment, you use an iSCSI LAN for this repository. In the Repositories tab, you see no repositories. Click the Show All Repositories. You now see the NFS repository that you released earlier. Click the Show My Repositories to hide the unowned repository. Launch the Create Repository Wizard. Specify a name and a location. As soon as you select Physical Disk, a Server Pool drop-down list appears. Select Pool 2 and click the Search icon. In the Select Physical Disk window, find your SAN server, select the LAN for the repository, and click OK to return to the previous window. Click Next to create the repository. The repository is being created. In the next window, move the two Oracle VM server in the server pool to the right pane to present the new repository to these servers. Click Finish. The new repository is now available. Create a virtual disk for your new repository. You create the virtual disk to provide at least one resource in the repository in a later demo, you will be able to view this resource after reclaiming the repository. In the Repositories tab, click the Expand button next to your new iSCSI repository. Select Virtual Disk. In the Management pane, select Create Virtual Disk. In the Create Virtual Disk window, give the virtual disk a name and a size, and click OK to complete the operation. Log in as root to one of the Oracle VM server in the server pool. Execute the df command to examine the mounts to the server. You can see the server pool file system is mounted as well as the new iSCSI repository. The NFS repository that you created earlier was released and is no longer mounted on this server. Execute the mount.d.ocfs2 command. This command detects OCFS2 type file system even if they are not currently mounted. Under the cluster column, you see the cluster ID, which is the same for the server pool file system and for the iSCSI repository. The iSCSI repository shows up twice, once with the device name and again as the dev mapper entry. To summarize, a repository that is owned contains the UUID of the owning Oracle VM manager in its configuration. A repository residing on a SAN server storage element has the same cluster ID as the running cluster ID, which is determined by the cluster ID of the server pool.